Well, the beauty of writing a ketubah, which is a Jewish wedding contract, is that you must sit with your partner and really think about your plans and your connection and your commitment to your life together and figure out what's the most important and what things really don't matter and together come up with your own statement about your ma marriage. It's sort of like a mission statement that you both sign and it's also sacred because it's um, part of the ceremony. So Alvaro and Sienna were able to sit quietly for quite a time and come up with their own statement that then was imparted to my image that I made, the ketubah. And first I'll talk about the content and then I'll talk about the image. I think in fact I'll read it to you so you can hear their commitment to each other. It says, on this day, before our dear family and friends, we, Sienna Brunwin, Celia Fleischer, and Alvaro Jose Castro Rivadenera, vow to share our lives with love, trust, and respect. Through this rite, we hope to consecrate our commitment to be honest, loyal, and open to one another. We will offer support and encouragement for personal growth and fulfillment of shared dreams. We pledge to be friends and partners through life's triumphs and trepidations. May humor and music be perennial in our mundane existence. May we exercise our sense of adventure, discovering new cultures, history, and cuisine together. May we reflect on and remember that the labor of others is present in all life's gifts. We shall create a home filled with affection, laughter, wisdom, hope, and a dedication to make the world a better place. And we have been present at the marriage, and we, having been present at the marriage, have as witnesses here unto set our hands. And then the people who witnessed the ketubah sign it, and it becomes sacred. And really, this is who Alvaro and Sienna are, and it's, I just find it to be such a wonderful method to formally create your own mission statement together. The image of the ketubah can be so many different things. Usually, the ketubahs that I have seen in my life and have researched on the web are um, illuminated manuscripts, beautiful original paintings, sacred images, all different things. To the Some are just really beautiful homemade paper with a tiny little Hebrew symbol. This ketubah is named, I am my beloved's and my beloved is mine, because that is part of their wedding ceremony, that saying only is in Hebrew. And so I t entitled this ketubah that. Um, the image, at first I started painting some ideas and I realized that the truth was that I'm really a printmaker. So I used a print of a symbol that I find sacred um, to impart their copy onto. And it's a symbol of a nest. And I used a plant that I've been using a lot in my printmaking called Equisetus. And it has a lot of little tendrils and it prints beautifully and it creates a nest image which to me is a symbol of home, family, creativity, and all the things that are really important in a marriage. So that's it. It's, um, it's a symbol of a nest, and it's sacred to me, and their words are sacred to them. That's my story about the ketubah.